Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we got another update for you. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and get right into it and show you what we've been doing. So as you've seen before, we're getting some of our gaps uh, situated. Um, we're also starting to kind of French in the headlights. And uh, so I made a pattern that we need. And as you can see, it doesn't quite fit, right? So we're going to have to do something about that. So we're going to add to that panel with some uh, carbon fiber material. And then um, go ahead and cut it out so that we can French those headlights in uh, really well and, and nice. The other thing that we've been working on is the roof section. So we've got most of it welded together. And uh, the next thing to do is to get out the hammer and dolly and uh, take out some of the bumps, as you can see, in some of the metalwork. So we're going to be doing that. Um, and then one of the other things that we've done is you remember down here, You've got these distortion of these uh, front uh, fairing pieces. And what we've done is be printing uh, more. So we're uh, doing this section right here. We'll uh, cover this in carbon fiber and then attach it to the front bumper so that we have nice straight pieces. So I don't want to redo the entire bumper because we've got too much time and effort invested into it and uh, we've done all of the uh, body work and gaps and so uh, I'd rather just replace this section and you can see we just finished uh, part in here and there you can see most of it uh, coming together so we'll get these uh, body worked and covered in carbon fiber and then we'll attach them to the car and then we've also, from our buddies at Eurospares over in the UK, we've got some new parts. And uh, finally was able to find myself a dome light. So I think this will uh, be a nice piece to put up there. Wasn't too pricey. Um, and then we also got ourselves uh, a, a glove box. And then a glove box uh, front piece here. So we, we still have to make the panel that goes on the outside, but that's okay. Um, but we got all the internal stuff and then also some of the uh, bracketry that we needed for that. The other thing that we picked up on eBay was these bad boys. So these are some uh, OEM headlights. They have some broken brackets and whatnot on them. But for the most part, they're pretty complete. I haven't tried turning them on yet because we've got to hijack the electronics of these guys. And for that, I a while back bought an Audi uh, wiring harness and I found the connectors that actually go on the back side of this right there. And so we'll luckily these things have a little port on the back so we can go in there and see if we can't see what the wiring's doing. So um, I want to use my 3D printed ones, but boy, these things look really nice. And uh, I couldn't pass up on the deal. The, it was just too good a deal. Um, the broken brackets we're going to try to fix, but we'll, uh, we, since we have to make our own mounts for these guys, um, I think that uh, it's not going to be such a big deal uh, with that. And also they come with the little headlight cleaners on them, which I'm not sure we're going to even hook up, but we'll see. Anyway, those are some really nice uh, uh, items that we have now secured for the vehicle. So with uh, the headlights, we still are having our uh, taillights, our 3D printed taillights, which I think turned out fan fantastic. So we're going to certainly not look for um oem taillights we're going to keep our 3d printed ones and kind of keep with the theme of the car which is mostly 3d printed um 
The other thing <clears throat> that we did on the roof section here is that before you saw I had it welded together with um, this piece right here for the door jams. And I decided to cut that off because it was so hard to get um, the uh, roof section in um, all by itself and with those door jams in there. So we've separated them. We'll probably uh, do some uh, body work. We'll also fill the gap. Um, we still have to fill some of this in with uh, some weather stripping and whatnot uh, for the car. We also uh, got some of the uh, body lines here uh, tightened up. Um, here, they're a little uh, loose, but again, we can modify the uh, panels, the con uh, composite panels in order to fix that. <clears throat> the other thing is, as you can see on the other side, that we came a lot closer fixing some of those gaps, but we still have these types of gaps that we're going to have to fix. So anyway, we'll get the front end done and then uh, we'll move uh, to the back.